Hello Pisces, welcome to another love reading. This one will be all about the energies between you and the person you're thinking about or connecting with right now. And what are you thinking about each other? What are your feelings towards each other? And yeah, let's just get right into it. This is going to be for those of you who already have someone in mind, some sort of connection for Pisces spirit regarding the person they are thinking about at this time. So what do we need to know for Pisces? Pisces, please. I'm going to start with figuring out what is in your person's heart space. What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces right now, Spirit? What are they thinking or feeling about Pisces? Huge thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed. I really appreciate it. Um, if you know likes and subscribes help out the channel a lot so thank you as well as all the comments I read them all so thank you want that one ooh love great first card to get that's for sure ooh, this one wanted to come out envy interesting I am the same as everybody but with different challenges what else do we need to know about Pisces and their person? What are their person's thoughts or feelings at this time? Humor. I choose to focus on the lighter side of life. Interesting. So I think there's a lot of emotion here. Obviously love and envy, yes, but that tells me that for there to be envy, there's some sort of connection here. Um, I feel when I see envy, that card makes me think of someone who wants what someone else has. So in a connection, this could be that um, your person is envious of maybe someone you're talking to or vice versa. Maybe there's third party or, or love triangles going on. Um, I think this has been kind of a weight because I have humor right next to it. So it's almost like this envy is kind of, you know, this jealousy here. It could be jealous issues in your relationship as well. It's kind of getting in the middle of love and light energy here. So how, what would this person tell you if they could right now? Sorry, what would this person tell Pisces? If they could right now, what would this person say? What insight can we get into the person that Pisces is dealing with? What would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? Let's see. That was sloppy. What would this person tell Pisces if they had the chance? These cards stick to each other, so it's a little bit hard. To, ooh, this one. I'm ready to open up. Okay. What else would this person say? If they could. What else would this person say to Pisces if they could? I wasn't ready. Interesting. So this person probably kept how they felt to themselves. They weren't ready to admit something to you here or weren't ready to possibly um, start something with you. Let's connect at the bottom of the deck. So they definitely want to talk at least, at the very least, they want to talk here. So let's get some insight into what happened in your connection. What happened in this connection spirit for Pisces? What happened here between Pisces and this person? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection? What's going on in this connection spirit for Pisces? Forgiving and learning as you release and heal the past, 
you experience more love in your present moments. So something needs to be forgiven. So this tells me that this is someone you've dealt with um, in some capacity um, enough that you're able to have a past that you need to forgive. What else for Pisces? What's going on in this connection? So something happened between you. Religious factors. So spiritual influence here. Um, divine timing as well. That, that card is divine timing for me. What else? What else happened in this connection? Trust. Situation is calling for you to have faith. And at the bottom here, playfulness. That's that humor card. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Again, I'm, I feel like there has been some sort of heavy energy in your connection. And now it's almost like you are looking for something to lighten the mood. Maybe there's a shift in perspective that needs to happen. Maybe forgiveness needs to happen in order for you to move forward without baggage. Because that's how I'm picturing this here. Put this card over here. Hopefully I have enough room here. So let's get into the tarot. So in the tarot, I'm doing a very simple spread today. Um, I'm going to be looking at your person's true feelings and intentions, getting some more insight there. And then I'll be looking at, um, well, one side will be their true thoughts and feelings and the other side will be their true intentions. That's what I want to say. And then we'll clarify and see. Not only how this person feels about you, but what intentions do they have towards you? This is the Lightseer's Tarot. For Pisces Spirit. Thoughts and feelings and true intentions. For Pisces, please. Thoughts and feelings and their true intentions towards Pisces. What are their true thoughts, feelings, and intentions towards Pisces? Okay. Let's get into it. Let's start with their true thoughts and or feelings towards you, Pisces. Let's get some more insight. We kind of already have a base for how they're thinking or feeling at this time and what's going on here, but let's see what they think about it all through the tarot. Okay, we got two cards. We got the hangman. They might feel a little bit, um, they're hanging around. They're, they're not moving, just thinking. Doing a lot of thinking about you. And I feel like they're moving or thinking about moving towards you, communicating with you. They have something to say here with the Knight of Swords. They're on a mission with the Knight of Swords here. What else can you tell me about their thoughts and feelings towards Pisces? Should sure I have room to move this over yet? Can you tell me about their thoughts and feelings towards Pisces, please? Thoughts and feelings towards Pisces. The wheel reverse. So maybe it just hasn't been the right time. Maybe it just a lot of things have been going on or there's some obstacles here. So what are their true intentions towards you, Pisces? Or should I clarify these first? Let's clarify these first, actually. Spirit, help me clarify their thoughts and feelings. I haven't been doing this for the other signs, but I kind of want to do it for you guys. Let's clarify these. What is the hangman about in their thoughts and feelings? Why? What's the hangman here? The hangman is all about seeing things from a new perspective, a new angle, um, getting clarity, enlightenment. Nine of Pentacles reverse. So they're getting some sort of clarity about something they're attached to, something they're dependent on. Sorry, hold on. Something they're dependent on here. You might be not be single or they're not single at this time. 
Tell me more about the hangman. It could be that they don't have the confidence either. Um, low, the Nine of Pentacles reversed to me is someone that's very insecure and has low self-esteem. Tell me about the hangman, please. Thank you. Yeah, see, Ten of Wands. There's a burden, a heaviness here. I've been feeling it ever since I started this reading. Your person's seeing a burden that they have. Something they're attached to is a burden. Tell me more about the hangman. They could be attached to the past. They could just be um, attached to what happened in the past in some way, what they what didn't happen. They could be in an, uh, a partnership of some sort or connection of their own right here. Queen of Cups, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio energy. They're thinking of you. I'm telling you, they're thinking about you. And at the bottom here, I have Justice, Libra energy. They're thinking about making things fair and balanced here when it comes to love, how they feel about you. So what's this Knight of Swords about? What do they want to tell you? Because this is that Let's Connect card for me. What's this Knight of Swords about? What's this Knight of Swords about? Knight of Wands. Wow. Yeah, this is definitely like moving towards something with a purpose here. What's this Knight of Swords about? With passion, with drive, maybe even impulsively and quickly because I have um, the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords, which they're both moving in their pictures in the traditional tarot they're both kind of like on the horse and ready to go what's this knight of swords about about a change of heart they've changed their mind about something Tell me about the Knight of Swords. And then we have the Sun. Of course, I dropped some cards. And then we have the Sun here. So they want to go after um, their own happiness here. They want to go after, they want to be successful, have victory with you. The Sun's all about um, success as well. Let me move this over because it's too close to the table. Um, so they've had a change of heart and now they want to move move forward towards this new happiness this thing that they are passionate about now this is just what they're thinking we'll see if their intentions are also aligning here tell me about the wheel of fortune reverse this is you know they're thinking that they have the worst timing in the world the worst luck in the world Nothing is working out for them at this time. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse. What's this about? The Tower Reverse. They're, okay, so they're trying to avoid a Tower moment here. Um, maybe prevent it from happening. Tell me about the Wheel of Fortune Reverse, please. Two of Wands Reverse. So they need to choose a path. Maybe um, they're trying to choose the safest path right now. The one that doesn't cause a tower. Page of Swords. Again, there's a lot of, um, you know, expect a message from this person because I have here, let's connect, Knight of Swords, Page of Swords. I mean, they and, and they want to talk. They want to talk about what they've been thinking here. They want to break free of whatever attachment they have. And I think they want to communicate this to you. They could also just be watching you. Um, so what is this person's in, true intentions? We know the, these are the, what they're thinking, but what are their true intentions here? Move this up a little. What are their true intentions towards you, Pisces? What are their true intentions, Spirit? Knight of Cups. Look at this. This is all communication here. Almost all the cards that I've, I've gotten like three knights and a page of swords. What are their true intentions? So their true intentions here are either to apologize to you or express 
genuine feelings of love here with the Knight of Cups. What are their true intentions? Yeah, look at this. Three of Wands reversed. So um, I, I think in their mind, they're losing patience. Um, they're running out of time. Um, and they need to move the Chariot Cancer energy here. Wow. So their intentions is to, to move. Um, either move towards you, to visit you. Um, they might be coming to, you know, tell you, hey, I'm sorry I missed this opportunity with you. Or I really care about you. I wasn't ready before, but I'm ready now. That kind of energy. Tell me about the Knight of Cups. Eight of Wands reversed. They might be apologizing for what didn't move forward here. Um, maybe the communication was not the best or it was completely blocked. They might want to apologize for it, for that. Or they might just be, you know, again, admitting how they feel, opening up to you emotionally. The Knight of Cups, they don't, they don't shy away from expressing themselves. Three of Swords. So, again, um, this could be extreme heartbreak that your person caused that they want to apologize for. They're sorry. They want to make things right. Maybe they were heartbroken and now they're ready to open up to you. Can we get one more for this Knight of Cups, please? Five of Wands. Yeah, this person screwed up. Um, there was a lot of conflict here, drama. This is the Envy card, too. Um, competition. Being too focused on what everybody else is doing that you don't work together. There's That's what the Five of Wands is about. Everybody's trying to do their own thing. And it's not working. And look, there's Justice Reverse. This could have been an, um, a legal matter here or just something that was really unbalanced, unfair to you. Tell me about the Three of Wands reverse for Pisces, please. I think your person was waiting and waiting, and I think they, they're done done waiting. Let's see. What's this Three of Wands reverse about? The Fool reverse. Can I get one more, please, for this Three of Wands? The Lovers, wow. What I'm seeing here is they know that choosing you as their partner, choosing you as their person, um, is going to be extremely risky. They might lose something when they go after you here. And this is, I mean, I feel like you are part of their past because I have the Six of Cups reversed, so they never forgot you or they aren't over your connection or um, they're still stuck on this the past with you here. But the Lovers is all about a choice, a choice in partnership. Tell me one more, please, about the Three of Wands reverse. One more, please. Strength, more Leo energy. Yeah, this is going to take strength and courage to make this choice. I feel like to make this, to, there, there has to be a broken partnership somewhere else for this to happen. Tell me about the chariot. Tell me about the chariot. So their intention so far is to communicate, apologize, and choose a different partner. So what's this chariot about? Death reversed. What's the chariot about? Can I hold my cards in my hand? Can we do that? Hold on. Tell 
Tell me more about the chariot, please. Wow. Ten of Cups. So they want... Got the moon reverse at the bottom here. There you are, Pisces. Something's coming out about emotions, family, about how they feel um, when they move towards you. It's like they want to say, I don't want things to end. Um, I'm admitting how I feel. I'm opening up to you. And um, I don't want things to be over here. I want us to be happy, have a happy family and all that jazz. Tell me one more for the chariot. I get one more for the chair, please. Yeah, and breaking free. Eight of Swords Reverse came out again. They're breaking free out of something here that's not working for them. The Eight of Pentacles Reverse. Either they're having financial difficulties or just something in their life is not working like they expected it to work out or like how, how they expected it to work out here. They've been trapped. This could be someone trapped in their head, um, afraid to open up, afraid to admit the truth. Um, this could be somebody that is trapped in, you know, this envious bubble where they can only focus on what other people have and it just stump, it stunts them in, in the present, if that makes sense. Like, it's, like it, you cannot grow if you're always worried about everybody else. You stop focusing on yourself, on what matters. 